Hello my soccer universe, time for another unpacking video and this time I'm not only gonna unpack one jersey, I'm gonna unpack two jerseys for the simple reason they have very very similar designs, uh, however still very different and I think that's quite exciting. They also, both of these that I want to show you are um, kind of fitting with my theme that I want to increase my French, Dutch and Portuguese collection. So it's from these, uh, from two of three of these leagues that I'm gonna show you. Now, um, one jersey is from the parcel that I had already from um, Vintage Football Area. The other one is from a humongous parcel that I got from my friend Idris, one of the most, uh, you know, most special parcels that I have received in a long time. Both of these I've opened and I can tell you the story behind it, Reese's parcel, uh, just in a little, uh, in bits and pieces, because he had already, since the end of last year, a few shirts waiting for me. However, I wanted him to help me print some of these. And then some of the prints got stuck in the mail, on mail in England. So it took a little while, and I will reveal the shirts in due time. But while we were waiting, he was actually walking, I think it was in Toulouse at a thrift store and he saw a shirt that piqued my interest and it was in excellent condition. And I said, okay, I think of the team, I wanted exactly this type of shirt for a long, 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 long time. And uh, no, long, 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 long time, for, 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 for a while, because I have an away jersey, I don't have a home jersey. So I thought it's only fitting that I get this one and I actually like the design well enough and show it to you it is oh, it's Monaco the classic diagonal half half look this is from the 06 07 season uh, right after Rockabert was also the Warren Spawn sponsor I actually like that it has the old crest it is this weird style where, you know, the, um, it's kind of a, it's a very weird thin material. Uh, some have said paper-like, which I think fits quite well. And of course it has this arch on the back, on the back it is blank. But you know, that's a small thing. I usually like the design to be the same on front and back. <laughs> it has even the tag from, from the store, it cost all of 25 euros yeah i think it's it's in really really good condition uh for 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 for, for the ages uh and, and and i think for monaco shirt 2025 is not a bad price overall but um i wanted to have one and i think this is about as cheap as i could get I could get one and on top of it i really really like, like it so very very nice one okay Here's the Monaco shirt hanging. Now, the second shirt that I'm gonna pull out here is a very, very similar design, yet a little bit different, but also, to be honest, a little bit more special. It's from uh, the par big parcel from Vintage Football Area. And I truly have to say that this is a shirt that I was, in a way, lucky that it was hanging around for, I wanna say three, four months and no one got it because I, really was hoping now i was actually going back and forth should i get the home should i get the away uh in the end i decided i'll go for the home jersey because it's a little bit more of the classic look it was a, a tad more expensive i think this one cost uh 40 euros instead of the um, 35 that the uh, a away jersey which would have been black but with more or less the same um, you know main design feature but I decided let's go for uh, the let, let's go for the um, home design because you know you always get a home jersey first and I'm very happy that I have this one to me this is a really really cool jersey it is the Utrecht home jersey, I want to say from the 12-13 season. Now, I always like the diagonal look for Utrecht and as you can see, it's kind of the opposite effect <laughs> of uh, that one. Um, and I think this is due, I might, I might, might be wrong, but I, I think this is based on the flag of Utrecht. Um, it's a Hummel shirt, 
So we have Hummel chevrons here. It's one of the older Hummel chevrons. No, no this old uh, Stipe Fico one, but other than that, I have rather, um, I have rather recent ones. Uh, I think it's over in pretty good con con condition. The sponsor is really, really nice. I really like the crest. This is this. I actually like this type of the felt with the 3D. This is what uh, Puma had for uh, Euro 2008. Floppy collar. Really, really nice. And then on the back, it also, of course, it's a Dutch jersey dress. It also has a uh, little sponsoring and then uh, some logos here that I have to research what they mean. But I think it's a very, very, very interesting sh shirt. Uh, <laughs> Utrecht is since 1970, so I assume now this could be uh, the crests from the teams that founded FC Utrecht. I, as I said, I will have to research that or you can drop a line below. I also find it interesting that the Hummel logo is sublimated into the jersey, whereas the sponsor is just a, a, a transfer. Now, the big design feature and why I really, really like, like this one that I also have to say the black jersey had, had, had the same one, is the Tower of the Cathedral of Utrecht, which is kind of the main landmark. I saw another one from Kappa where it was more in the center, but I actually like the detail on this one. It's a little bit on the side. It's a little bit of a local detail. It's really, really uh, well done. And then, of course, on the tail, you also have Utrecht since 1970. So I'm going to hang this up again and then let's see how those two look uh, next to each other. Ta-da! Here they are. And I kind of on purpose hung them this way. <laughs> if I would have done the other way, we would have, it would have looked like a Peru shirt. But you know, red, but red is the flag of Austria. So uh, fits very nicely. I really, really like, uh, you know, the diagonal is almost more or less the same. Um, I really like that I have two jerseys that are kind of the opposite of each other. Both are special. I also, also think about the internet. Both are XL, but you see the 12, 13 XL is a little bit longer than the more recent, uh, than the older Puma XL. So uh, kind of a few interesting features there, but I think two very nice jerseys. Um, the Monaco one is maybe a little bit more of a classic because it's a bigger team and you know it's a, a design uh, uh it's from a, a line in puma that well, is kind of infamous whereas i think the utrecht jersey has a little bit more charm and I, as i said the cathedral tower down down there is is a feature that uh, really uh takes it to another level for me now the only thing is both have white bags as i said i typically would prefer for my jerseys to have the same design on the front and on the back but i know this is getting rarer and rarer that you have this i also find it interesting if you look at the utrecht jersey, I mean, both have uh differently colored sleeves we have the monaco jersey has one red sleeve and white sleeve then white sleeve and red sleeve but you see the red is coming a little bit to the color kind of also interesting so yeah let me know what you think about these two jerseys. The Dutch collection is growing and I finally have a Monaco home jersey. That was one that I really wanted to have in my collection for quite a while. In any case, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so they get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!